I found this little device on Newegg. It is a uh, Kingspec brand, uh, one terabyte NA900S model number uh, SSD. It is advertised as being compatible with uh, MacBook Pros such as the early 2015 model A1502, which I have. And it was quite a reasonable price. I will put a link below in the uh, description to uh, Newegg's listing. If it's still available, it will be there. Uh, my particular MacBook is a 13.3 inch and it came with a fairly generous for the time 256 gigabyte SSD uh, that used uh, Samsung chips. But it's gotten a little bit uh, small for the for 2024. So I thought I would look and see if I could uh, expand this and migrate my data without a lot of trouble. And it turns out I could. Uh, not all the information I needed was in one place, so I thought I would do this video and describe how to do this and give you at least a qualitative review of how this works. I'm more of a PC guy than a Mac guy, so uh, pardon me if there's some unfamil unfamiliarity with the uh, the way Macs book. I do like the way uh, the way Macs work. I do like the way this. Um, the MacBook looks when you're in a coffee shop. I like the screen. It is a retina screen. It is absolutely beautiful. It's good for creative editing. If you're writing something or drawing something, it's a really nice tool. I can't use it for a lot of my engineering uh, software, so it's never going to be my primary device. Um, but it, it, it is a really nice and light computer to bring along with you and uh, when you need to do something it just works it's nice it loads quickly it starts quickly I should say and uh, well, uh, from sleep mode anyway and it's a very nice piece of hardware it's still good after after almost nine years so I will let that let's get started just a quick note this is intended for people who are familiar with dealing with tiny screws with uh, fine parts on electronics and uh, uh, and, and then anti-static measures. And if that if you're not in that category, please get somebody to help you or get somebody to do it for you. Okay, let's look at what you'll need to do this. First, you're going to need a uh, blank USB stick. Uh, everything on it will be erased, so it has to be a blank one or something you don't care about. And at least 32 gigs of capacity. Here's a 32 gig one. Secondly, you'll need some storage media that has enough capacity to hold everything on your Mac. Uh, for example, you could use this uh, 640 gig portable mechanical hard drive. I used a 2 terabyte uh, hard drive that I had around uh, with a, uh, a docking station and that worked fine. Uh, again, um, the software that Apple uh, includes with the Macs, which is called Time Machine, uses the entire partition so it's better to use one that you uh, don't have anything on or you'd have to create a partition and go through a bunch of complexity there so I, I suggest a blank one. Third you're going to need to deal with Apple's screws. Apple has a love of creating these special screws that are proprietary and here's a page from the US patent that shows these. It's not the primary uh, focus of the patent, but it is part of it. And uh, Apple calls these pentalobe screws. They have uh, five petal-like patterns on them. And the uh, actual purpose in the patent says that if the uh, somebody who is uh, opening the, the Apple product or modifying it will probably use an unauthorized driver and will damage it and that can be detected so they can cancel the warranty or whatever. So here is uh, one way of dealing with that. Uh, this is a bit... I'll get up on this. There are a bit confusing names for this uh, this part. It uh, it uh, this one I have here is called a uh, P5. They're also called PL4 or TS4, and it's a 1.2 millimeter diameter thread. Uh, 
This one was part of a, of a set that honestly was not that great in terms of fit. It's a little bit loose, so I'm not going to link that. I, I don't think I'd recommend it. Um, the, if, you're go, if I was doing this for a living, I would go to um, some supplier uh, such as DigiKey or um, Toolhouse and buy a uh, Weha set. Uh, they have hardened tips and they're they're going to fit properly and so on but this was good enough and you can find similar screws drivers on and bits on uh, Amazon that are good enough you need a spudger uh, this is useful for opening cases and uh, in this case we want to lever the uh, the connector for the battery uh, so that we uh, disconnect the battery and that's uh, important in case something gets dropped into the into the board you don't want it to short something out and cause damage and uh, let me one note about the uh, about the screws uh, if you look at descriptions on the internet you'll find that that the uh, screw length which is normally specified as under the head for for a screw with with a uh, flat bottom they specify the overall length I mean, it is easy to measure. You can you can take a calipers and measure it, but it's not the way they're conventionally measured. In any case, keep in mind that eight of the screws are three millimeters long, and the two over by the Apple Mac Pro markings are two point three millimeters. So make sure you get the same length of screw back in the same hole. It could conceivably cause problems if you tried to put a screw that was too long into a hole that's designed for a uh, shorter screw. This is not a necessary step, but just for my own interest, I'm uh, doing a speed check of the uh, uh, original disk using uh, a program called Blackmagic Speed Test, which you can uh, download for free from the uh, App Store. Okay, we've got a good sample there. Now we need to make the installation uh, USB stick. Uh, first, uh, make sure your, your Mac is on the latest OS. I won't go into how to do that. Uh, now you need to download the latest OS. And uh, if you go to the App Store and look for Monterey, you won't find it. Uh, you need to enter in a, uh, a, a URL which I will put in the uh, video description below and uh, then it will show up. Now at this point uh, you should uh, cancel out of the installer and that will leave the uh, program, the DMG file, in the memory. Now we're going to fire up Disk Utility and uh, then we go to uh, Erase and Reformat the uh, flash drive, 32 gig flash drive in Mac OS Extended Journaled. Then we go to uh, fire up the terminal program and we are going to enter in the command exactly as shown here and you can copy it from uh, the, the uh, video description and enter your password and that will copy uh, Mac OS Monterey to your flash drive. When that's finished we're going to fire up Time Machine and back up all the data on the Mac to the uh, external hard drive, large flash drive, etc. Now I've got a little magnetic sheet here that helps me keep the screws uh, or in an orderly uh, fashion and keeps them from rolling onto the floor. And the tip of my screwdriver also is magnetized. So this is just a little useful thing to have. It's not necessary. You can use anything. Just be sure they don't roll off onto the floor. And for God's sake, don't use it. A carpet. Uh, don't do this in a carpeted room. You will regret it forever if you drop a, one of these tiny screws. This area up here is where the shorter screws are.
Now you may notice that the back is popping up on my machine, and that is actually an issue. Uh, there is a uh, swelling of the battery that I've discovered, and it's probably just as well I discovered this before something worse happened. Uh, I've ordered a replacement battery for this, and uh, I will link it below where I got it from, and uh, maybe do some another video with some further tests to show the battery capacity, but. Uh, it wasn't too expensive, and uh, when the bat once the battery starts swelling, there's a possibility it could damage parts in the computer. Okay, number ten, and we are in, as the hackers say. Now I'll just take this and set it aside, and we have the beauty of the thing. Now we have, of course, properly shut this down before we did this. We don't just want it in sleep mode we want it completely shut down okay so we need to uh, to now remove the battery connector and that is under this sticker right here and just wait for that Let me peel this back a bit Just gently move that out, and we'll bend that back so it doesn't touch, and we can now work on this. I always suggest, and people who are familiar with working with the uh, electronics, I'm using an anti-static mat here. You can use, uh, if you don't have an anti-static mat that's grounded in a wrist strap, you can use a... Uh, piece of wood or a piece of cardboard just something that is somewhat conductive don't do this on a, on a piece of acrylic or something that sh that uh, causes static electricity if you just touch this ahead of time I mean you can use the the proper wrist strap like so but uh, if you're careful it's not necessary now let's go to the next step here. There is one screw holding this in, and it is the same size screw as was used on the case, so we don't need to even change that. We just take this screw out, and again, be careful not to drop it even so, just to be careful. And there we are. Now the drive can come out, just that one screw holds it, and it's a bit of a snap action here. There we go. So now we can set this, this aside. And uh, what I do is put it in the packaging from the Kingspec drive because that uh, happens to just fit it perfectly. And it goes on the shelf. If I ever need to return to, the, to this particular state, I can do that just by doing that. this whole thing we did in reverse and snapping this back in, and we're there. Okay, now we take the new uh, drive. It's, uh, it's a little bit wrinkled on top because I peeled this, the, uh, this heat transfer sticker back in order to... Uh, to see what chips they were using out of my own engineering curiosity. You put that in there, make sure that is well seated in there. It's got a little bit of spring to it. And well, you'll find it goes in a little bit further than you think. And there we go. And now we take the retaining screw. And put that in. And the drive is installed. Now all we need to do is to go is to replace the uh, power connector. Just snap that in there. The sticker goes back and we can put the case back back on. Let's check the speed. Well, I'm very pleased with that. It's about 50% faster on writes and a similar speed on uh, reads, probably limited by the interface. Well, if you like this, uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you in the next video.